Liberated by the Allies in April 1945, tens of thousands died here at Buchenwald concentration camp in Germany. Just one day before Buchenwald's liberation though, the nearly impossible happened. In the midst of death and despair, a woman delivered life. Anna gave birth to a stare at the concentration camp on April 13th, 1945. That's them, right there, just after the US Army liberated Buchenwald. And about 23 years after this photo, Esther would give birth to her son, Phil. It is a miracle. Phil Weiser is, of course, Colorado's Attorney General. And if you think it's incredible that his mom was born in a Nazi concentration camp, how it happened is even more stunning. And miraculously, my grandmother was abandoned because the Nazis took anyone who was well on a forced march, left my grandmother behind, and she gave birth by herself, managed to have a knife to cut the umbilical cord, managed to feed my mom and survive for a day before the U.S. Army arrived and the Swiss Red Cross, which took her in and then brought her to Switzerland. Weiser's family's near brush with death, he says, made his family extra appreciative of life and of the country that liberated them and gave them the chance to enjoy freedom. She had to learn resilience. On the other side, I think she also grew up with gratitude, as did I, about the United States of America, liberating her, welcoming us here, committing to provide freedom and opportunity for everybody. So that's a, a promise that I grew up with and has been personal to me. And another absolutely amazing part of this uh, story of survival Weiser's grandmother snuck out a note out of the concentration camp to Weiser's grandfather, who was at a different concentration camp in Czechoslovakia. The note said, quote, you have what to live for, code for that she was pregnant. They both survived. The full interview I did with Phil Weiser, by the way, is up on 9 News Plus.